Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got in Japan that was not J-pop related. So a lot of it's Pokemon stuff, um, other manga and anime related stuff. I really thought this time I wasn't gonna buy as much as my previous trip. I may have bought even more. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, let's get started. I'm just gonna pull stuff out of my bag. I've had my suitcase in this room for two months waiting for me to make this video until I could finally make it. I'm so happy I can finally put this stuff away after this. Okay, let's just get a big thing out of the way. Yeah. It's a Snorlax pillow and it is the softest thing and they have a few different Pokemon pillows but I don't even like Snorlax really but it's just so soft that I had to have it. So yeah, that's from the Pokemon Center obviously. Um, then I got this Eevee plushie. Um, it is Mix Olay and there's a few different Pokemon in this series with kind of like different colors on them than what they usually would. But yeah, I thought this was really cute. Then I got this, is this Oshawott, I think? A small keychain. Okay, so of course I had to get my boy Sobble, my sad boy. I kind of wish I got the Scorbunny too but uh, maybe I'll get it in the future. This one, you may have seen me grab it in the Pokemon Center walkthrough I posted. That's when I got this. It's a tiny little Nidorina plush um, and it has like a beanbag bum so it'll like sit up. It's called Pokemon Fit. Oh, Nidoran. It's the same name in Japanese. They have a lot of the first gen Pokemon in this series, so like this size. So yeah, I just, I love this one. I thought it was so cute. So cute. That's the theme of this video. This is another one from the walkthrough video from Pokemon Dolls. I don't even love this Pokemon, but I just thought its face was so hilarious and it was just so funny, like the tiny body and everything. So I had to get this one too. By the way, this is another story where you can get a tax refund, I believe. Um, so you just have to have your passport on you to prove that you're not a Japanese citizen. So I got this slow poke. It comes with this ginormous tag. Let me know if you think I should keep the tags on or not. I think I will. Again, another Pokemon I don't care that much for, but I just thought it was so funny looking. So um, yeah, I had to get that. This one I'm pretty sure is from the Pokemon Center that we went to in Kyoto. Not like a big one, but a pretty small one. But um, again, I don't even like this Pokemon, but this is the Ditto version. And I thought the color was just really pretty. It's like a pale baby blue. And I got it because I had like a baby pink backpack. So like the two colors I thought looked really cute together. So I got these in that Pokemon Center video as well. Um, they have a lot of different socks. And um, I just liked the pastel colors of this pair. And then this one is from that series. Nijuyon Jikan Pokemon Chu. It's where they just look very derpy. This is definitely my favorite series ever <laughs> that the Pokemon Center has put out. So I bought quite a few things. That includes this washcloth. I wanted to buy all the washcloths, but like, look how funny they are. Um, there's a line. If you guys use the app line, they made a sticker series and I bought that too, even though I never use line. Just had to have it. Um, not too sure if I'm going to keep this. This is just a paper visor thing. They gave you at the Pokemon Center. They just asked you which at the new starters was your favorite. So Sobble is my, my favorite baby version, but um, yeah, I got Score Bunny because I just, you know, I'm a bunny person. So I got a few clear files. These ones are from the Pokemon Cafe. So they're cafe themed. So this one I really wanted. Um, Gengar is one of my favorite Pokemon. So I really, really like this one. Um, this other side. This one's pretty interesting too. It's like all these made up types of snacks with Pokemon logos on them. I really like that kind of stuff. Reminds me of Neopets. And then I got this set as well. There's the other one and the inside. So these are all cafe exclusives. You have to pick them up at the cafe store. Got, I got these. So this is um, one of the coasters I got at the cafe. So this comes free um, when you get a drink and it's Halloween themed because we were there in October. So that one's really sweet. And these ones I purchased at the Pokemon Center. Um, just that same sort of pastel thing that I got on the socks. These ones I forgot I bought. Let's see if I can open the bag. Even the little bag is adorable. It has all these little silhouettes printed on them. Although the packaging is not really necessary. Of course, I got Gengar 
one of my faves, as I said. Then I got these two of Larvitar um, from that Pokemon Shoe series. Again, not one of my favorite Pokemon, not even close, but I just thought these were super funny looking. So yeah, I think the stickers are gonna go in my sketchbook. Okay, the cat is just laying on my Pokemon Center bag now. This stuff I forgot I even purchased. Um, got this at Three Coins, and they also had Pokemon collaborations, and they had like special Pokemon shopping bags. Um, I wish I got more. <laughs> Of this stuff. This was in the bag too. So this is another coaster from Pokemon Cafe. So I only got two Pokemon things from Three Coins. I can, or no, this one is not Pokemon either. Okay. Well then, I only got this one Pokemon thing from there, and it's um, one of those Kleenex box covers. It's Pikachu. Like this whole series, I think, is Pikachu like nighttime themes where. Uh, he's wearing like nightcap and stuff, so it's like fuzzy. Uh, okay, this one's kind of boring. This is a tank top with like the bra built into it, but I was interested in it because usually these things here, they have like a really tight elastic in them, and I hate that, but this one didn't have any elastic. It's just like the cuffs in it, so yeah, hopefully that fits because you can't try these on there. And completely forgot about all this stuff. So I bought this really cute chopstick set, apparently. Always need new chopsticks. They tend to get like kind of raggedy over time. Wooden ones, and anyway. So these are um, fortunes, but I don't actually know what the fortunes are for the most part. I can read like a couple symbols, but that's it. Um, I just really like the color scheme of all of them. Um, so yeah, another thing I can actually use. and. This I've been wanting to use as well. So this is um, like a Japan souvenir eco bag. So it's the type of bag that you can bring to the grocery store or wherever, but it folds up into itself. Um, so it's a reusable bag, a tote, and I really like the pattern on it. Oh, this is actually more shaped like a duffel bag and it has a zipper on it. I was going to use it for groceries. Um, I don't know if I will now, but yeah, so it just has these different, um, I guess, tourist spots on here. But again, I liked the colors and the pattern on there. Okay, so I have a lot of really small things, but I'm going to leave those till the end because I'm going to cut away and like film them on a flat surface so they're a little easier for you guys to see. Cannot believe I brought this home, but <laughs> this is Saran Wrap. I was using this while we were in Japan because I made us rice balls to bring with us to eat and I liked it better than the saran wrap here. It doesn't smell really strongly. Um, the saran wrap here I find has a gross smell and if you leave your food wrapped up in it, it tastes like that smell. And I also brought back these uh, furikake that we use for the rice balls just because there's a lot left. I thought I would use them at home too. Just some black toasted sesame seeds, shiso, salt, and pepper, wakame, so like seaweed. Here is another Pokemon Center thing. I thought this was really cute. I really like little bags like this. So I think this is like a makeup bag. I don't know what I'm going to use it for yet, either makeup or like pencils or markers. Again, I just love the pastel colors. I love this pastel purple. And this Zorua is one of my favorite Pokemon also. So yeah, I really like this series. Okay, a couple more boring like kitchen type things. <laughs> Sorry, this is all over the place. This is a bento accessory. It's um, a bunny mold. So yeah, in here they just use it for rice, but you could probably use it for forming like chocolates or um, candies or anything. So God knows I probably never use that, but I bought it. And this one I know I will use. So this is um, dried kombu. It's a type of seaweed. And I've made a couple um, Asian food recipes where it called for this, so you can use this to make broth. And um, I couldn't find it anywhere here, so yeah, that's why I picked that up. This is from the Sanrio shop. I believe we went to this in the 109 building in Shibuya. And it comes with this free thing. What is on there? Like a little Gudetama tag. 
Oh my god, this is so cute. So I got these pom pom pudding stickers and like it looks like these little hamsters in there which I'm obsessed with and it comes with this little plastic envelope that you can put them all in. Fun days of warm friendship forever. I wanted to get some sticky notes too. I use these pretty often um, as a teacher so I got this like carrot and bunny set. Pretty small ones and then I got this um, dog one. <laughs> and then another set of stickers are these bunny ones. You can't really see the other ones in there, sorry. They're all kind of overlapped. But I really like these, they're like a paper texture. Uh, this was in the other bag from the Pokemon Center, but I couldn't find the other one. So I got these fuzzy Gengar socks. And I remember I, when I bought these, the cashier was telling me like, oh, Gengar is really popular. And I don't know why, but on my trip, I love telling the the people working at the Pokemon centers, like, Gengar is, has the same name in English as it does in Japanese, and yeah. Very nerdy. What is this? Pokemon Cafe merchandise. Okay, look at how cute this is. They put, like, a print on the inside of the box. Like, come on. I have to keep the box now. Oh, okay, I forgot about this, too. did post a picture of this on my Instagram. Um, you can get a smoothie in this type of glass um, at the Pokemon Cafe, the Gengar smoothie. And yeah, so I bought the cup. So I totally forgot I bought this and this is like a big item. This costs like 60 something dollars, I guess. So um, I was just looking at hoodies online the other day. I was like, I really don't need any more sweaters. And then it turns out I have this one already. I thought it said like university or something on there, but I guess not. But it, yeah, it's just a standard hoodie. Um, it's really thick, nice material. Yeah. So here's the shirt I was talking about in my J-pop haul. Tower Records. I really wanted the original like yellow logo with red um, text on it, but they didn't carry that. So I settled for this. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, so I got this in Kyoto um, at a store on Arashiyama, and it's just this little coin purse and with a bunny, and it has like this kimono type fabric with the snap closure. I got one of these wraps. I think you use this for um, wrapping bento. Um, I think you can also use it to wrap a gift. I just like the pixel art. I really love pixel art, so I like that style. Um, I thought I could use this as like a hanky. Is that disgusting? Um, yeah, I don't know. I thought maybe I should like stop using so many Kleenex and try using washable hankies once in a while. Hankies, handkerchiefs. This is from It's Demo, and they often have Pokemon collab stuff too. So it's like each of these stores, their Pokemon stuff is exclusive to that store. You can't just go to the Pokemon Center and get stuff like this, I think. So yeah, this came with these, a couple different types of candy, which have mostly been eaten. But yeah, just thought that was cute, and it's really cheap. Um, three coins, and It's Demo is most stuff is like under 500 yen. Okay. Not too much more. What the hell is this? Rilakkuma Band-Aids. Gotta have it. And another pair of Pokemon socks. Um, don't really care that much for Sylveon, but it is Gengar on the other one. So that's why I got those. I believe this was free. Um, Nagoya Center sticker. If you guys watch my walk around at Aomori, so I talked to this older gentleman there and I kept running into him in the town like that morning. Uh, I seriously saw him three other times, and he every time he saw me, he would give me one of his photos. He was really, really nice, and yeah, so these are just the photos that he gave me. Um, this is the mountain that we were taking pictures of. So, yeah, he was really cool too. Like, whenever I said thank you, thank you so much for giving me a photo, he'd be like, eh, like, it's nothing. And you know, he would just like turn and walk away. <laughs> so... These are cool. It's tied to like a nice memory, so I'll have to put those somewhere. So this is something I got at the home version of Book Off. What's it called? Home Off? Or s I don't remember. Anyway, it's just this little crown dish um, made from glass or whatever, and I'm guessing you would put like your rings or something in it. Okay, I need to charge my camera. And we're back. So next thing I bought was a cat hat. Um, <laughs> 
It's supposed to be a lamb, I think. Yeah, I doubt I will be able to get this on any of my pets. Kind of boring thing. These are just bath salts, but they're like a warming kind. So I got these um, because if you've never gone on like a vacation where you have to walk around for a long time, it hurts so bad. Like at the end of the night, all your joints are in pain. And so yeah, I use these a few times um, to take a bath at the end of the day. This is, um, what the hell store is this? Not Tokyo Hands, it's uh, like a really cheap home goods store. I forget which one it is. Um, but yeah, this is just a Gudetama cleansing cloth for screens and glasses. These ones, I forget where I got these. I want to say it's the same store because it was in with that stuff. Yeah, it's just the Disney Chippendale um, chopsticks again. Super cute. I love those characters. PVC coaster with bunnies on it. Um, and it's pink, so I love it. I think I'm gonna put this on my bedside table. This I thought was a clear file. It's not, it's like it's just like a poster type of thing, but it's the same material as a clear file. And I got this at um hard off, so yeah, it's an Evangelion thing and it's used, but okay, so this is the last of the bigger stuff. Um <laughs> They're gonna kind of get to know me, if you know what I mean. With this stuff, no kink shaming. This is a BL manga I picked up, and I think I got this at a bookstore. I don't really remember. Endorando. So it's called Enland, and it's published by Chocola Comics. And yeah, it just looked like very angsty, which I like. So I thought I should pick it up, practice Japanese reading. Um, which is really hard for me, <laughs> so I haven't read through all of this yet. These books are doujinshi, so they're fan-made, like, basically porn comics. Um, Dad, don't watch this. Um, <laughs> so I got these at a store in Nakano Broadway, and this is all they sell. Gay doujinshi like this, um, BL, yaoi, whatever you want to call it. Um, shonen Eye. And then there's a separate store that's all, like, uh, woman and woman together too. Um, so yeah, I picked up one that is um, the Shinji Kaoru pairing from Evangelion. I haven't looked through any of these yet. And then I bought a bunch of <laughs> banana fish. Um, I watched banana fish when was that? It was sometime in 2019. Really recommend. <laughs> it's on Amazon Prime, I think. Yeah, so I bought a bunch of doujinshi. This is like my new OTP from that anime. Like, I love them so much. So this one looks pretty short. Then Lilac. And then I got volume one and two of a rain of cherry blossoms. So those ones look good. I know you love it. it says adult only on the covers of all these. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you all my little gachapon, but I'm gonna like put them on a flat surface so you can see them. Hey guys, so now I'm going to show you um, kind of like close-ups of all the smaller things I bought. Um, so this first one is a blind box from Pokemon Center, and I was hoping for one of the other ones, but I got Pikachu, which I find kind of boring. So yeah, I wanted that Esper or the Piplup or... Whimsicott. Um, yeah, I just find the Pikachu one is kind of boring. And this one is another blind box, Pokemon World Market. And all of them come with a really cute Pokemon, except for one. And of course, that's the one that I got. Unfortunately, the box got kind of crushed um, in my suitcase. But it's this hideous um, executor, I think that's what it's called. And yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can put that on eBay as well. Um, so most of the stuff I got at the Pokemon Center, Nakano Broadway, um, a couple other stores too, like Three Coin or no, Eats Demo. These two wash tapes are from Eats Demo, and um, they're Sailor Moon themed. And then these ones are from Pokemon Center and they're like the evolutions with pixel art so I thought those ones are really neat um, so washi tapes if you didn't know are just like decorative masking tapes and you can use them like in your planner or, like wrapping people's gifts 
and stuff. So these ones um, are these like ancient Egyptian god gotcha. And um, I bought so many of these. I actually got three of the snakes, I think, and I gave one to Allie. Um, so I'll probably rehome this one as well. Um, didn't get the ones I really wanted, of course, but that's okay. I still like these ones. So these ones are all from Nakano Broadway, and um, there's a couple stores there where you can resell your gacha pawn and then, or sell them, and then they resell them. So I got a couple there. It's the same store I went to in my trip in 2016. A little bunny, um, a little hamster, a totoro. This one I like because it has that like micro fuzz on it. And then a Pokemon Zoroa or whatever it's called. I uh, love that one. And another Gachapon. Um, these were like the Zodiac things. They're like uh, those, um, I don't know what you would call it, little statues that they have at shrines. And they had all the animals of the Zodiac. So of course I was hoping for the rabbit, but I thought this one was really cute too. I think Allie may have got this one. I don't remember when she gave it to me. So it's a series, um, and they're like little squeeze balls. This is not a gachapon, but it's small, so it's a Guritama felt tip pen. These ones, um, they're kind of ugly, I don't know. They're supposed to look like guitar picks, but they're just freebies that you got at the Pokemon Center. Um, if you spent over a certain amount, you got one. I think it was 5,000 yen. So, yeah. This is for Tammy. I forgot to give it to her. These are from Eats Demo, and they're just little Sailor Moon lip balms. So I bought one for myself and one for her. Um, this is um, a Kuji or whatever. It's a um, convenience store, like lottery thing, and they had this series of this calico cat and all the prizes were really cute so we each got one this is the one i ended up with a little keychain i think the rest are all pokemon gotcha these ones are open i think because i got them at um Nakano broadway so i didn't get them from the gotcha machines and yeah so maybe i can sort these a little so these ones are all that series that I got the one um, plushie from, this Eevee plushie. What's it called? Fruits Olay or something like that. So yeah, there's a double. They each come with a little like water bottle or juice or whatever. So I got like a hundred mud kits <laughs> because I was trying so hard to get this one and Allie eventually got it and graciously gave it to me. I just think that one is so cute. It's the only one that has a crown on. But yeah, so I have these four mud gifts. <laughs> I only need one, so I'll probably put the other three on eBay as well, um, or wherever I end up trying to sell these. I have another double of that Squirtle, double of Eevee. Umbreon, I think, is the only one I got a single of. Um, those are the only ones. Oh, no, there's one of... Uh, what is this called again? Totodile. One of those. And that Oshawa is really cute too. So I have the entire series, I think, of those ones. Then there's this Ditto series. So it comes with the Pokemon that has like the Ditto face. And then they come with this tiny, tiny little Ditto figure. And they're each different. Um, the Dittos. Oh, that's not part of it. Um, so I got a few of those. Um, so there's the Leafeon, Sylveon, hopefully this is focusing. I like the Ditto with the Sylveon, it's really cute. Um, Mareep, don't judge me if I get these names wrong. And then this one I have no idea what it is, Allie told me it's a new Pokemon. There's those, and then I got this Eevee. Um, this is one of the ones where it sits on the edge of a cup. Yeah. I think this one also, I was complaining because I always get the Eevee from, like, if there's a set of all the Eevee Lucians plus Eevee, then I'll always get the Eevee. Just by chance. I got another Rowlet, uh, one of my favorites. That was my starter as well. And then this one, I just got one of these from this series, but it was all Pokemon 
that had flowers on them and yes yeah, so i got that one and yeah that appears to be it i think <laughs> Oh, so that's it. That's finally my whole haul from my Japan trip in 2019. Now I have to find places to put all of this stuff. It's seriously insane. Like, I think I did buy more stuff than last time. I would say it's like Christmas, but this is like more than I ever got for Christmas. So hope you enjoyed these haul videos. Let me know what your favorite thing was, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.